Sorry if I sound dodgy. I have been sick this past entire week with the flu. It's, it's not been pretty. Today I will be bringing you a haul and many box unboxings. If that makes sense. Stick with me. So I picked up The Haunting of Sunshine Girl by Paige McKenzie. I don't know anything about this really. I know that Brandy's read it, she seemed to like it and that it is supposed to be a whole YouTube series. I've not seen the series. Um, it just sounded interesting when Brandy was talking about it and I was like, eh, yeah, I'll pick it up, might as well. So, that happened. Then I also picked up Val McDermott's The Mermaid Singing. This was recommended to me by Heather from Tarrant Page and also AJ. I've read it. It's good. It's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be, but I enjoyed it. Then I picked up Dune by Carrie Cop and Lainey Langdon. Laurie Langdon! Dang it! I know that it's set in Scotland and it just looks fancy. It's probably not going to be as good as Outlander, but you know, I'll give it a shot. And this is going to be the book that me and Desiree buddy read in the month of March. So, looking forward to getting to that one. I also picked up 10 Things We Shouldn't Have Done by Sarah Milnowski. I picked this up solely because it was Sarah Milnowski. And I have only read one other book by her, which was Don't Even Think About It. Which is getting a sequel, so quite chuffed about that. I know she writes little fun contemporaries and I thought this would be a nice little fun contemporary to go on to. And it wasn't a letdown. Really like this one. Then I picked up Why We Broke Up by Daniel Hadler. I think Daniel Hadler is Lemony Snicket. Shh, don't tell anybody. I picked this up because I, because ages ago, and I'm talking a while ago, I watched Chloe from Blondie's Books review this and I was like, yeah, I want to pick that one up and give that one a go. So. I eventually got round to it. Took some time about it, but you know, I got it. I will read it soon. <laughs> then I picked up the first book in the Raven Boys Quartet by Maggie Stiebatter. Obviously, it's the Raven Boys. Again, I know I've been wanting to read this, so I, I've tried not to look too much into anything about it. I like to go into books knowing as little as possible. Me and Christy are going to be reading this for our buddy read in the month of February. I'm excited to get some reading. And the last one I have that's unboxed was sent to me by Sierra from Sierra Reads because I won one of the competitions in the biannual Bibliothon and I won Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. This book is so pretty! <laughs> I get to buddy read this with Sierra. I'm just really excited to get to this as soon as possible. On to the boxes. <laughs> Basically, I went on to A Books, which is the site that like collectively houses millions of bu used bookstores all across the country. I'm just wanting to complete out some collections and get certain ones for this, that and the other. And getting books cheap is obviously a win. I think I got 9 or 10 books for around about £20. With shipping and everything included in that price, so... I'm okay with this. Let's uh, go for this one first. I should have brought scissors. Oh! Ah! Oh dear, that's just going to have to get flattened out a bit. See? Playing a couple of books on that and flattening it out, it's not going to be too bad. There's a little bit of damage to the very front cover bit. But honestly, 
That doesn't bother me. This is Empire in Black and Gold by Adrian Tchaikovsky. We were around at a friend's house, just chatting, playing games, shooting the breeze, and they started like sorting out the bookshelves. So we're all just sat around there talking about books and stuff. And as they were sorting out their bookshelves, he realised that he doubled up on the sixth book in the series, which is The Sea Witch. And <laughs> it was like, okay, I've got two of those. Uh, let's go to the charity shop. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Tell, tell me about this series. <laughs> he just explained it to me in such a way that I was just like, that sounds intriguing as hell. I've never heard anything like that before. I'll pick up the first book, see if I like it or not. But for the meantime, I'll just uh, hold on to this one. Because if I do end up really, really liking this, I'll get the ones that are in between and after too. So, yeah. <laughs> this one now. All the tape and all the land. Could not keep me from my package. Went a little bit demonic there, but never mind. Someone did the crossword already. Don't wrap it in newspaper and then do the crossword. That's just mean. The amateurs. Okay. This one's very partially wrapped. Okay. Little note, thank you very much. Guess that makes up for doing the crossword. And this will be the Elf Stones of Shannara by Terry Brooks, the second book of the legendary Shannara series, as it states there. Yeah. I saw the first two episodes of the show, I really, really enjoyed them, and then I was like, I've not read this series yet, why have I not read this series yet? To the bookshop. I have issues, okay? Next! Let me at him! I have Proven Guilty by Jim Butcher and Cold Days by Jim Butcher these are ex-library copies. Not a big issue. Next package! I feel like Ross Noble. Next muffin. <sighs> ah! Okay. Currently can see books, which is a good start. Okay, so we have <laughs> The Wish Song of Shannara by Terry Brooks. That looks like a very old copy. Okay. Turncoat by Jim Butcher. <clears throat> The Sword of Shannara by Terry Brooks. And ended up buying Stormfront again. Because seriously, no clue where our copy has gone. Poof. I'm happy to have it back in my life. 
next. A couch. Finally have my own copy of The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. I've had this on audiobook for absolutely forever. I tried reading it, well I tried listening to it on audiobook and I just couldn't figure out the place or the setting in my head so I'm like okay well maybe if I actually start reading the book and get a feel for where it's going then maybe I could switch into or hop and change but we'll see and the last one Whew. Yeah, because that makes sense. <laughs> Trusty nail. Wolverine! I picked up Lair of Dreams, the book After the Diviners by Libba Bray. If you haven't read The Diviners, go do it, it's awesome. And Pivot Point by Cassie West. And finally, my very own copy of the Bane Chronicles. Yeah. <laughs> I've been seeing it and seeing it and seeing it and I told myself that I was not going to get this until I finished reading the whole Mortal Instruments series. So at the beginning of January I just kind of like owned the Mortal Instruments series. So I get to get this now. Yay! So, that's the unboxing book haul thing. If you like this video, give it a thumb. Feel free to comment down below, tell me what you think about the books I bought. And you know, subscribe if you feel like it. As always, the t-shirt I'm wearing today is this one. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later. Bye. <coughs> oh, jeebus. I don't, yeah. Today I will be bringing you a something by, I knew it. It's so floppy. After, yeah, I, I don't know. I've got an itchy nose. Had the da 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 words. Sorry, this is this 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 is bugging me. This is bugging me. Oh. I'm running out of space. Damn it! What did I knock over? Oh, my minotaur. Go away! I need to sit down. It, my eye.